All right, hey guys. Uh, what I'm working on today is I'm going to be taking my 40 amp auto unit down and I'll be replacing with a 32 amp unit. Um, the reason I'm doing that is I'm on a 40 amp circuit and so I can't charge any higher than 32 amps anyway. Um, my car, my Chevy Bolt, can't charge any higher than 32 amps. Um, and also, I'm changing it for the model that has the charge gun holder uh, separately, so it's not sticking out the front here. So when I park my car here, I've got to squeeze in between here. Or sometimes kids open the back door and whack this. So I'm going to be getting this off. It'll be mounted on the side. And uh, another bonus with the 32 amp uh, compared to the 40 is that the charge uh, cable is going to be a little thinner and a little bit more manageable. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is remove these two screws underneath that hold the front plate on. Now we'll just pop the front plate off. Set that aside. Next thing to do is take this cover off so that we can access the wiring. Now I've already powered down this unit, so we're safe to work in here. Whoop. There we go. Now we're just loosening up the two hot wires coming in as well as the ground wire. Coming right out as expected. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take this um, little torque screw off the bottom that's holding the unit to the um, wall bracket. Oop, there we go. Okay, now that that's off, I just have to take the rest of these screws off to open the front so I can loosen the nut on the uh, conduit. Hey. <laughs> Why are you messing with my stuff? Huh? Why are you messing with my stuff? Hey. Hey. What are you doing? <coughs> yeah. 
and tell them. If you want this front panel out of the way, you can clip this one wire, take it right off. I apologize for not moving the camera down, but all I'm doing here is I'm putting the screws back in and snapping the front panel back on the old EVSE. Hi, Georgie. Huh? <clears throat> All right. So you can see this guy doesn't have the uh, charge gun holder in it. It's also wired for a, a NEMA 1450. We're going to take this off and hardwire it. So we'll be taking these out and hardwiring it in. There we go. All right, now we've got our two hots and our ground wired back in. Now, excellent. Okay, so we've got the charge wand holder here, which is really well made. Um, it's all metal, well, plastic, but the part the uh, charge gun goes into is metal. And when you click the gun in, it tilts down, uh, keeps it away from the wall. Um, it's really nice for tight spaces in the garage. And just like the main body of the unit, this has a metal wall mounting bracket. So this will clip onto the bracket and then screw on in the bottom. And of course you get mounting hardware with that. So let's get to it. So now we're around the back of the charge pedestal and uh, what we're gonna do is mount this right here. That'll keep the charge wand from sticking out into the driveway. All right, so I'm just gonna mark out where I want this. Whoop.
Come on. Come on, guy. There we go. Okay, just like the main body of the charger, there's a screw that goes up through the bottom. So here you can see how that uh, sits much more flush. It's kind of tilts right down so in a garage where you don't have much room or in my case here where you're walking between it and the car, you're going to have a lot more room. Just take another look at this unit. Okay, so I'm going to go in and get the power on, and we'll go ahead and go through the, uh, the setup procedure. All right, we're going to get started commissioning this thing. I've got the app open, and I'm going to click Add. It wants me to scan the QR code. Okay, pulled in the serial number and the PIN number, and I'll hit link. Connect via Bluetooth. Pair. You can see Bluetooth is active here. Just waiting for, uh, for it to find my home Wi-Fi. So I'm going to set my electricity price, U.S. dollars. Oops. We pay about 15 cents kilowatt hour. We want auto start on. Now, if we wanted to use um, uh, card activation, we would turn that off and we would register the cards in the app. Schedule's off. I use the schedule in my uh, car. Max charge here is uh, 32 amps, which is the max charge of the unit. Now, inside the unit, there's, a, uh, there's an amperage limiting uh, switch. So if you were on a 30 amp circuit, you could limit this to 24 amps, and then in the app, it would not let you go above 24 amps. You could still go below, but it won't let you go above uh, whatever's uh, set inside the unit. So we're gonna leave that. And we are good to go. We'll go ahead and plug it into the car so you can see that it works.
All right, I just had to plug it in twice so it would override my uh, charge delay in the car. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Confused it by unplugging it. And we are going. It's charging. So if I go into the uh, details here, we can see it's delivering 7.5 uh, kilowatts, which is our 32 amps. And OnStar is happy about that too. And then we can bring up our little graph here where you can look at power, current, voltage. Um, and you can uh, go back and look at this for each charging session. Um, all this data is saved in the app. They're excited. All right. So we're good to go. That's it. So there's only one thing left to do. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'll leave some links in the description below for the two Autel units you saw today. If you're interested in one of these home chargers, please follow the Amazon link. It will benefit the channel and make more of these videos possible. You can also help out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I'm working on lots of other EV related reviews and videos, so let me know what you thought about this one and if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. And as always, thanks for hanging out.